Now, the citywide curfew in effect right now bans non-essential traffic below 96th Street in Manhattan. Four hire vehicle services are also suspended until at least 1230. We found out also tonight that City Bike and Revel are shut down. Cabs and the subway are still running, but only for essential workers. As we mentioned, thousands of people still out on the streets tonight. News 4's Jackie Beckford has been following one group of demonstrators, and she's kicking off our team coverage tonight live from Chelsea. Jackie, how is it? And Natalie, it's really hard to know who's who because there were several splinter groups of protesters throughout the evening. Several of those people you talked about that are still out on the streets tonight, well, they're being detained by police right now. They're being blocked here by this truck, though. But right across the street, police had several of them uh, in custody after yet another clash with some of these uh, protesters this evening. You're taking a look right now at broken glass here at the CVS store at the corner of 25th and 6th Avenue. Again, this all part of some of the damage we're seeing here just about a half an hour ago. We saw uh, some, of the, some of the group looting or attempting to loot the Italy uh, in the Flatiron District. Take a look at some video just from a little bit earlier ago of that clash here at the corner of 25th and 6th Ave between police and, and a small group of protesters. Uh, I would say probably about 100 people were out here. We're told by witnesses that uh, p there was a car that was driving south on the northbound 6th Avenue here with some people sitting on top of the car chanting protest, uh, chanting pro in protest. They are part of the protest protest group and police told them to stop the car and they were they refused were told that police pulled uh, several of those people from the car again those are the people that are currently being detained right now along with some of the people who were on foot and riding bicycles at the time as well uh, earlier we saw protesters in both Bryan Park and uh, a Trump Tower that had marched there They've been basically marching around the city. They have gone past the 8 p.m. curfew that was set, and police, for the most part, have not arrested anyone up until this point that we saw just now at this altercation here. But we talked to several people who were here earlier before the curfew went into effect who told us basically that they just wanted their voices heard. They wanted to be a part of a peaceful protest, including several health care workers who say that they support the cause. Take a listen. Racism, of course, is something that prevails through all of aspects of life, especially health care. Um, it contributes to disparities and contributes to bad health outcomes. It's, it's super duper important to um, try to fight it as much as we can. This is something that was really important to us, you know, like our son, he's, he's going to grow up and be a, a, a big black man. He's, he has to live in his skin and we're, we're out here teaching him that you don't accept things that are wrong. You step up and you say something. And right now we're seeing a rush of, of police vehicles rushing off here north on 6th Avenue. It's unclear exactly where they're headed or if that is in response to another part of the splinter cell, the protests. Again, here's the scene I was talking about just a little bit earlier of several people still being detained by police at this point. For the most part, throughout the day, we have seen mainly peaceful protests until, again, those splinter groups of mainly young people that we saw that were looting here in the area. Uh, but again, mainly throughout the day, peaceful protests that, again, at night have turned different. We're live tonight uh, in Greenwich Village. Checky Beckford, News 4 New York. Okay, Checky, thank you very much for the situation there. Uh, no hard numbers for arrests. Just moments ago, police did tell News 4 so far they've made dozens and dozens of arrests. Let's go to News 4's Ray Vietta near Union Square tonight, where I know, Ray, you actually got to witness several people being taken into custody. Yes, Stefan, we're seeing several people being taken into custody right about now. More than a dozen people. In fact, take a look behind me. You see a couple of protesters right here. Tell me again why you guys are being arrested. Uh, we're being arrested because we were protesting police violence peaceably for six or so hours. So that's what they're telling me. But I called police just before I went on air, and they told me they had reports of looting in this area. So right now, it's unclear why these folks are being arrested. So you're seeing a couple of people being put into a wagon there. If you follow me just down the street, we're here on the corner of 5th and 14th, and you'll see right there, police are loading a bunch of other people into those wagons as well. They've been here for about a half hour now, at least. And, and here, I'm just getting out of the way here. You can see them right there. They're getting loaded in. We've gotten a few reasons as to why they're here. They told me they were protesting the curfew. They told me they were protesting the Black Lives Matter movement. It's unclear why these people are being arrested, but you can see right now they are being arrested. It's been a busy night for police, as you've mentioned. Let's show you what appears to have happened before all of this mess here just south of us down in lower Manhattan. This is video on Twitter shows a tall man lunging at police, including a higher up seen in the white shirt. 
that higher up and other officers fighting back to get the man in police custody. This all happened on Broadway outside a Zara store. When we pulled up to the scene, we saw that a man was being arrested, loaded into the back of a police wagon. This was after a report of looting. We saw the evidence of looting when we came up on the Zara. A huge piece of plywood ripped off the front of the store. Glass shattered everywhere. Tonight, the NYPD on guard and on the lookout for looting. As course, after a result of what happened last night, in Soho, police tape blocked off the corner of Spring and Thompson, this neighborhood a target of looting. Police only allowing people who lived on the block in and out. A neighbor we spoke with described what she saw. The looting looked like a very organized plot, she said. They're, they're beginning to steal from one another. So one of them had a, a bag full of stuff, and what they're doing is they're coming back to get the stuff that they've hidden. So there was a Mercedes sitting here, and the Mercedes went around the corner. The group of the Mercedes went around the corner, and they grabbed the bag of stuff because they've been hiding it in the crevices and in the little codicils and even in the foliage along here. So he went and got his bag, and when they saw him, they came after him with a hammer. On nearby Prince Street, we also saw another group being arrested, loaded up into a police wagon. Onlookers did not know why they were being arrested. That neighbor we spoke to, she's just fed up with what she's been seeing. You are not welcome. You are not a protester. You are not welcome. Keep it moving. You are not welcome. And as a community, we just push them back to Houston Street. That was her clear message to people looting her neighborhood, which is separate than the protest, the peaceful protest that we've been seeing throughout the night. As you take a live look right now here on the corner of 5th and 14th Street, you'll see people are being arrested again. We've been trying to get in touch with these people. They're giving us a variety of reasons as to why they're being taken into custody. We've reached out to the NYPD at this hour. We don't know, but you can see it's been a very busy night for the NYPD as arrests continue to go down at this hour. We're live in Union Square tonight. I'm Ray Vieta, News 4 New York. All right, Ray, thanks so much. Well, tonight, New York's public advocate and other city leaders took a knee in solidarity with peaceful protesters. Jamani Williams gathered with other elected officials in Times Square to kneel right as the city's curfew went into effect. Williams had asked NYPD Commissioner Dermot Shea to join him, but our crew did not see him there. Now, Williams called on protesters to stay focused and not be distracted by outsiders with alternative agendas. We don't want cars on fire. We don't want looting. That's not the type of protest that we are promoting. Williams says he supports the curfew and encouraged everyone to follow it as well.